Hey guys, it's Skylar and welcome back. Today's video is going to be a eyeshadow look using the Morphe N Jaclyn Hill Armed and Gorgeous palette. And with that being said, let's get right into today's video. So for the face today, I am going in with the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and this is in the shade Swan. And I'm going to take like a pump and a half of that on the back of my hand. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take a damp beauty blender and go in with the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. And I'm going to spray that on the flat side of the sponge a couple times. And then I'm gonna go ahead and dip into that foundation on the back of our hand and start to apply that to my face. Going in and spraying my sponge a couple more times. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start to apply foundation on the other side of my face. I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I am in the shade Fairy Neutral, and I'm gonna apply this to the underneath of my eyes, the bridge of my nose, right along my forehead here. And then I have a couple problem areas. I don't know why I've been breaking out recently, so I'm gonna apply it to those areas as well. Then I'm gonna go back in with that Beauty Blender and start to buff that out. I'm gonna go in with the Pretty Vulgar Translucent Powder and start to set my face. I'm gonna take my damp sponge still and take some of that and stamp it on the forehead. And then I will also take the pointed side of that beauty blender and apply powder all over my eye and underneath my eye. And this is just to set the eye makeup so it doesn't crease and it'll make it easier to blend out eyeshadow when we go in with the Armed and Gorgeous palette. And I'm just really taking the time to press that into the skin. So that way we can ensure that our foundation and our concealer will stay in place all day. I will also go ahead and take more of that powder and go over my nose because my nose tends to break apart. The foundation anyways tends to break apart if I don't. So I don't normally set the rest of my face just because I have like dry to normal skin. But if you're someone whose skin is maybe a little bit more oily, you can go ahead and set the rest of your face with that powder. I'm gonna go in with bronzer and blush and highlight. And for that, I'm actually gonna go in with the Cover FX. This is the Perfector Face Palette. This was featured in the March Boxy Charm. If you didn't see my last video, I would check that out. I show you everything you get in the March Boxy Charm and this palette is what was included. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with that contour shade right here. It looks like the shade name is Silhouette for that. And I'm gonna go in with a Morphe M438 brush. And I've never used this palette before, so it'll be the first time for me. I don't know how it'll perform or it could be really bad. I'm gonna tap off the excess. I'm just, I'm always cautious with contour at first because I'm so fair. I don't know how it's gonna perform. If it'll be really pigmented, then it'll look orange on my skin. But I'm gonna go ahead and take that and start to apply that into the contours of my cheeks. The contour is pretty cool toned, so it doesn't show up really orange, which is nice because then you can kind of build it up. It also blends out seamlessly, kind of just melts right into the skin, which is really nice for a contour. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this right on my chin, and I'm gonna go in with the Morphe E4 brush and apply that to the sides of my forehead and the center of my forehead. I'm gonna go in with that Pretty Vulgar Translucent Powder again and taking my damp beauty blender, I'm gonna take some of that powder and just stamp it along my jawline and this is just to crispen up the edge of that contour we put down on the cheeks. This is optional, you don't have to do this. If you like that diffused look, you can leave it as is. I just like to do this. I think it makes my cheekbones look a little bit more higher and I like the look that it gives. I'm gonna let that sit there while we go in with blush. Again, for blush, I'm going in with the same Cover FX palette and the blush shade is called Sublime. And I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M523 brush. And I'm gonna take a little bit of that because I don't know how pigmented this is. And I'm gonna tap off the excess and start to apply that right to the apples of my cheeks. This blush actually, I don't know if the camera is picking it up as well, but it is extremely pigmented, but it looks like it's blending out really nicely. So that'll be good because I can kind of like diffuse it into the face. So it's not as like 
pink. You definitely don't need to go in with a heavy hand. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the Morphe E3 brush. It's just a fluffy brush. I'm gonna take away that powder that we stamped on our jawline and I'm also gonna take it and go over where we applied the blush just to kind of diffuse it out a little bit more and cover up how pigmented the pink is. All right, so that looks good. I am gonna go up and apply highlighter, but I'll do that at the very end. I'm gonna actually go in and draw in my eyebrows. And for today, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Medium and the Tinted Brow Gel in Chocolate. And I do have a tutorial all about how to fill in your eyebrows and you can check that out. I will leave a link to it down below. But for today, I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera like normal. So I will be right back. All right, so my eyebrows are on. So I'm gonna go ahead and go straight into eyeshadow. This is the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette. This is the Armed and Gorgeous palette. It is one of my favorites. I just think that the greens and yellows are so gorgeous. It reminds me of like, army colors and I thought it would be perfect with the outfit that I'm wearing which is just like this camo green top and black jeans so that's what I'm going in with today I did already set my eyelids in the beginning when we applied the concealer and then the powder but if you want to go ahead and apply eyeshadow primer you can go ahead I just don't like to use eyeshadow primer I don't think that it really works I kind of think it's a scam to be honest so I skip that. So the very first shade that I'm going in with is the shade Access, which is this really pretty like yellowy orange shade. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a Morphe brush. This is a fluffy round brush. It doesn't really matter what you use as long as it's fluffy. And we're gonna go ahead and take some of that color and tap off the excess. And we're gonna start to apply that into our crease. And I want the shape of my eyeshadow to be a little bit more round. Normally I'll kind of like smoke it out a little bit. I don't wanna do that for this look. This look, I think I'm gonna do a like halo, I would say a soft halo look. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep everything more round. I am gonna build up this yellow shade quite a bit. I want it to be pretty pigmented. So I'm gonna have to go in a couple times with this shade. Next shade I'm going in with is Top Secret, which is this really pretty green shade in the palette. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a smaller brush. It's just a little bit more tapered. And I'm gonna go ahead and pack that onto the inner and outer corner of the eye, and then a little bit up above in the crease. And I'm gonna blend that out with the fluffy brush we applied access with. <laughs> The next shade I'm going in with is Guilt Trip, which is this really pretty metallic. And I'm gonna go in with the same brush we applied Top Secret with, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply that all on the middle portion of my eyelid. And that's just gonna create that really soft halo. So that's it for the eyeshadow. I already went in and curled my eyelashes and I'm gonna go in with mascara. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and I'm gonna go ahead and coat my eyelashes with that. That's it for mascara. I'm not gonna apply false lashes today, but I am gonna go in with highlighter and this is the Cover FX Star Light Highlighter. It's part of that palette. And I'm gonna go in with a Morphe M310 brush and apply that to the tops of my cheeks and the tip of my nose. So that's it for today's look. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Ah. Uh, because our eyebrows are supposed to be sisters and not twins. <coughs>